Although a cornerstone of modern U.S. military operations, unmanned drone aircraft actually came into extensive use as far back as the Vietnam War. It was then that the U.S. began conducting the very first real-time, remote-controlled communications intelligence collection missions using jet-powered drones, nicknamed Lightning Bugs, in North Vietnam. A diverse lineup of advanced drones was subsequently kept a secret from the public for years, as the U.S. used them to conduct reconnaissance missions on its enemies. The Firefly Unmanned remote control aircraft had been used by the United States in a limited capacity during the World Wars, but the Vietnam War marked the first time their use became widespread. Using drones presented benefits like limiting the loss of troops, and their discreet nature made many war activities less provocative. At the time, the Lightning Bug program was kept a closely guarded secret, and any inquiries into the unusual aircraft were met with a terse, no comment. By the late 1950s, many early U.S. drone projects had already been cancelled, but Soviet use of the SA-2 SAM has rejuvenated support for unmanned aerial vehicles. The program was further fueled by public outcry surrounding the shootdown of a U-2 spy plane in Soviet territory. While the pilot, Francis Gary Powers, parachuted to safety, he was captured by the USSR and was unable to return to U.S. soil until a spy prisoner exchange took place in 1962. In one of its first new efforts, the Air Force decided to modify the BQM-34 Fire Bee, first prototyped in 1951, for reconnaissance in order to hasten development and save on research and development expenditures. Its size and fiberglass composition made it only a small blip to radars, and it was relatively agile. The modified target drone was designated Firefly, and most of the operations were kept secret. Four of the Fire Bees were modified starting in June 1960, while a further $1.1 million contract was issued to the Ryan Aeronautical Company in February of 1962. The vehicles were given an additional 35-inch tank so that the fuselage could carry 258 more liters of fuel. An automated dead reckoning navigation system was added, and the nose was modified so it could carry the Hikon A1 camera used by the U-2 spy plane. The Firefly, also known as Model 147, could cruise at 55,000 feet and travel for 1,200 miles. With mesh covering the engine intakes and radar absorptive coating over the fuselage, it was nearly invisible to radars. Test flights took place over the fall of 1961, and official reports were deliberately circulated claiming that the drones were actually surface-to-air missiles to prevent the technology from becoming compromised should one crash in a public area. The plan was to have drones be deployed from DC-130s serving as director aircraft. A DC-130 could carry up to four of the smaller drones from the lineup. The Ryan Aeronautical Company wanted to build a new drone, the Red Dragon, but the Kennedy administration put that project on permanent hold. The Lightning Bug while early tests demonstrated the almost undetectable nature of the drones, their J-69 engines were producing a contrail at cruising altitude that could compromise them. For this reason, the engineers on the project created a contrail suppression system by injecting chlorosulfonic acid into the exhaust port once it was on enemy territory in order to reduce water particles. The downside of this development was that it required greater maintenance as the acid would slowly corrode the engine. The 147A model was replaced by a B model in 1962, which featured a better navigation system and a doubled wingspan, which allowed the drone to cruise at an impressive altitude of 62,500 feet. The Air Force was positively impressed with the progress for the project, and issued contracts for multiple variants that could play roles varying from photographic and electronic reconnaissance, electronic warfare, signals intelligence, decoy or surveillance work, and even psychological warfare. By 1963, some of the Firefly models had reached operational status after extensive testing. When the name of the project was leaked to the press, it was redesignated internally as Lightning Bug. That December, the Air Force ordered 14 Model 147Bs, just as Cuban leadership threatened to take down U-2s flying over their territory, with tensions still high just one year after the Cuban Missile Crisis. In May of 1964, a study determined that the U-2s should be replaced by Lightning Bugs for missions flying over Cuba, the proposal was leaked to the public, and the Pentagon decided to back up the U-2s with Lockheed A-12s instead. The Lightning Bug drones continued to be activated over the following years with greater need by the American military to surveil China and North Korea, followed by Vietnam during the Vietnam War. The drones would continue to undergo modifications and additions all the way up to the 1970s. Surveilling China the Lightning Bug was first put into operation in August of 1964, 
right after the USS Maddox engaged with North Vietnamese PT boats in international waters, a fight which the US falsely claimed was brought on by the Vietnamese and was used to justify greater involvement in the Vietnam conflict. The United States, then under the administration of President Johnson, was wary of Chinese involvement in the war, so it was decided to monitor any Chinese military buildups using lightning bugs. Overflights were conducted from the Kadena Air Base in the Okinawa Prefecture of Japan. The first mission, launched on August 20th, was reportedly a disaster. One drone malfunctioned and never took off, while the other fell off the underwing pylon of the director plane. A second attempt was slightly more successful. That lightning bug flew over southern China and landed on a Taiwanese rice field where it was badly damaged. Navigation wasn't as accurate as intended, but the recorded film and photos of targets were recovered in perfect condition. Subsequently, five lightning bug flights were performed in China over the rest of the month and September, but only two were considered successes. Yet the government of the Republic of China, which stood in opposition to Communist China, was happy with the results and enthusiastic about the future prospect of the project. During later efforts related to the Vietnam War, however, China would come to capture a then-labeled AQM-34N lightning bug and reverse-engineer it for the creation of their own drone, the Wuzhen-5, which entered service in 1981. Vietnam War Reconnaissance Drones In 1965, spying efforts continued over China and North Vietnam. The Chinese made many attempts to intercept American drones, and they were successful on multiple occasions. On April 20th, they displayed three of the shot-down drones to the public, along with propagandist news reports and material. Fighting the drones was used as a point of pride by the Chinese government, with one press report even claiming that it was a, quote, great victory. In response, the United States considered adapting the drones so they would self-destruct on overflights, but ultimately decided against it, as there were no loss of life or threat to American soldiers. The military took a position of not commenting, and the American news media largely ignored Chinese victories over the drones. With the air war over the country evolving into a significant front, the U.S. military saw a need to keep photo interpreters close to the actual aerial missions. It formed the drone detachment that would turn into the 4,025th Reconnaissance Squadron in 1965. The squadron was headquartered in Benhua, and drone recovery and control units were placed in Da Nang. ELINT, or Electronic Intelligence Missions, saw drones with attached waveguides that enlarged their radar cross-sections collect and relay information until they ran out of fuel. The waveguides allowed them to mimic the radar profile of a U-2 in order to draw out enemy anti-aircraft defenses. The surveillance equipment would transmit directly to the DC-130 or another mothership plane. Halfway through 1966, a set of different drones labeled COMMENT, or Communications Intelligence, were sent out to gather data on air systems and enemy tactics. Among the multiple models of lightning bugs, the 147T used deception and signal suppression systems to infiltrate enemy areas and intercept communications as far as 570 nautical miles away. Not only were these drones nearly impossible to take down, but they were additionally paired up with 147Ns, which would jam communications and drop chaff, or clouds of small fibers that reflect radar signals, to misdirect enemy fire. These advanced technologies allowed the United States to infiltrate, record, and analyze almost all VPA and Viet Cong communications. Vietnam War Combat Drones Beginning in 1966, the drone squadron began implementing direct combat support. With additional modifications, the U.S. planned to have Model 147NC partake in bombing raids on North Vietnam, but this plan was changed in March of 1968, when F-4 Phantoms were chosen to carry out the missions instead. In 1972, however, the 147 NCs were used for political means, as they dropped leaflets with anti-North Vietnam propaganda all over the country, giving the drones on these missions the moniker BS Bombers. On the combat missions, the North Vietnamese saw seven of their fighters crash, with a single lightning bug inducing five of these crashes. Most of the kills were due to unsuccessful pursuits by MiGs that either ran out of fuel or were drawn towards American fighter aircraft. The lightning bug lineup contributed significantly to the war effort, gathering intelligence on North Vietnamese planning, the location of bases, and revealing the technical aspect of their surface-to-air S-75 missiles. The effect they had on North Vietnamese communications and ground control sites saved countless soldiers, as they were warned beforehand of enemy attack and defense systems and tactics. Among other achievements, the drones collected the first close-ups of the MiG-21D and E, as well as proof of Soviet-designed helicopters in the country. Furthermore, the U.S. carried out the world's first real-time remote-controlled communications intelligence of an adversary. And perhaps the drone's most important accomplishment was playing a role in the Linebacker 2 raids that pushed peace talks to the table. During the operation, 
They assessed the low-level battle damage of the bombing, which would convince the North Vietnamese to return to negotiations. Lighting up the future. In total, 3,435 missions using the lightning bug were carried out over China, Vietnam, and North Korea. The Ryan 147 models were all redesignated AQM-34s, and they continued to be used in Southeast Asian operations that targeted prisoner of war camps to discover whether Americans were being held there. These drones were soon replaced by Blackbird spy planes out of fear that the Vietnamese had learned to counter AQM-34 surveillance. After the 1973 peace treaty was signed with North Vietnam, drones continued to be used, although the United States did not get involved with the last North Vietnamese offensive in 1975, when Saigon fell. Development stalled after the war, with many elements of the project being abandoned in the 70s. Yet some of the former lightning bugs lived on, eventually being modernized by Northrop and designated as BQM-34s for use in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. <laughs>